Cakewalk just released a free tier of their DAW that used to cost a couple hundred dollars and in this video we're going to be talking about it. What is up guys, my name is Fano and welcome back to Musicians on a Budget. Now for Mac users, I don't want to waste your time and make you watch the whole video before I tell you that it is Windows only. So it is Windows only. This is what the DAW looks like. I don't have any project on it whatsoever. I'm going to be making a project on it very soon. So if you decide to go with this DAW, these are some things that you're going to get. So first, for you're going to get unlimited MIDI tracks and audio tracks. Now it's not limited to like 20 or 5 or 15 compared to like other free DAWs that give you a limit. You're going to get unlimited tracks. For beginners, this might not mean anything to you, but for somebody that's a professional in the music production business, this is a green flag. Another thing that made me really excited about this DAW is that you can load up VST plugins. Like if you have like any third party plugins, you can use it on this DAW. You're not stuck with the stock plugins that are in this DAW. You can load up or get your own VST plugins, whether free or paid, and it's going to work in this DAW. Another thing you get in this VDAW is a pro channel mixer with built-in effect and also advanced piano roll and automation. If you don't know what this is yet and you're a beginner, don't worry, you're going to be needing it in the future and the fact that you have it in this DAW is a good thing. Another thing you're going to be getting is a 64-bit audio engine which Cakewalk is known for. So basically, you can make a song from start to finish with this DAW. To me, this DAW is not a light fashion. It's like a professional studio that is free for some reason again in 2025. Now, if you didn't know, back in 2000s, Sona by Cakewalk was like a big deal. It was made by Cakewalk and then it was later sold to Roland and Gibson. It was competing with the likes of Logic, FL Studio, Pro Tools until in 2017, Gibson decided to shut it down. In 2018, a company called Banlab bought the rights to Sona. They relaunched it and made it completely free. Now imagine paying $400 for a DAW and then the next day it becomes a free DAW. In 2025, it is free again. The reason why I'm telling you all these stories is because I just want you to understand that this DAW is not just a free DAW or a new DAW that just came out. This is like an OG that has been around for a while and it used to cost $400 before and now it's free. So make sure to get it now before they change their mind again. If you want to download it, the link will be in the description and I'm also going to make an installation video how to install the DAW. The link will also be in the description. And if this video gets like 500 likes, I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to use this DAW. And if it doesn't get 500 likes, I'm still going to do it, but please. If you use the old cake walk by Banlab, just know that it will stop activating by August 1st, 2025. But the good news is that your old project can be opened with this new DAW. So just keep that in mind. I hope you got value from this video. Make sure to tell me if you're going to be switching to this DAW or you're going to stick with the one that you already have. And also, I know that I didn't talk about a lot of features in this DAW. I'm going to be doing that once I start using it more. And I'm going to be making a lot of videos about it because it's a free tool. And from what I'm seeing, is actually a good free throw. So I hope you got value and I'll see you in the next one.